Come on, baby. Come on. Hello, friends. I am at my mother's today because she has a dining table for us and we're gonna be painting it. This is the color. Heirloom white. I'm just kidding. I'm at my mom's house. Um, so we just did the first like two-ish layers on the table and the legs. It's going pretty good. This lighting is a little weird. Hold on. It's definitely going to take quite a few, but luckily we're doing super thin layers, so it's drying really fast. A little weird that I like to eat just pepperoni. It's like mini salami. My mom had to go run and get my brother from school. And I wanted to eat something, so take a little break. She picked up the perfect shade of white for the table. I wanted it to be just barely off-white. I didn't want it to be like stark white, but you know, I wanted it to be like a little bit of like an antique -y, like creamy kind of white. Because she has an electric sander, it literally took us two seconds to sand it. Crunch a mancha. I did an Instacart all morning. This is my middle of the day plan. And then I need to go pick up some boxes for my best friend down the street. So we might eat dinner here. We'll see. Um, but I have to pick those up from her about 6.30. And then Chris has to drop off the guitar that he painted for the one guy. Tomorrow we're doing Instacart and then I'm taking my other brother out for ice cream. And then I'm just packing because I'll finally have like the right boxes to pack. I mean, I have the right boxes, but the ones that I'm getting for my friend are like paper boxes. And so they have like a lid and they have handles, but you don't have to use any tape. So I'm really excited for those. And they're like, the, they're like the perfect carrying size too. Today is officially five days for moving day. Let's see, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday will be the fifth day. So we're getting there. Salsa? I spice salsa? I need to find some chips. Isn't my mom's kitchen stunning, by the way? A little tour. It's nice as fuck. I'm so happy. We've got our couch stored in the front room. She's giving us a TV stand and then the dining table. So I'll just have to find chairs. I'm excited. Things are coming along. I'm just, I really have to be patient this week because, you know, I want to just get it all done, but we also aren't moving until Sunday. That's weird. This is the least hectic move I've probably ever had. It's the most help that I've ever had. And it's also the most time that I've had to like prepare for moving. It's so crazy, but I'm very thankful. It's all going so well. Love it. That's perfect. Isn't it? He did get a haircut. Yeah, I know. This is gonna match up so nice. Sit on it. Tell me what you think. It's in good condition, eh? No, this is nice, love. <laughs> good choice. Hello to all. I'm maybe not looking my best right now. I am so tired. It's starting to get packed up just a little bit. And we have so many boxes. I hope that I actually filmed. Anyways, I picked up seven boxes from Monica. And then I have... A whole bunch of the ones from Kaylee. We have more than enough boxes at this point. But I'm happy I picked all these ones up from Monica. Because these are going to make my life a million times easier for packing. I think I'm going to go ahead and like start packing some stuff tonight. I'm tired. But I am going to be just so busy that I want to get any sort of packing in while I can. Then after that we should... I'm sorry. I'm majorly picking at myself. Um, But we should have tomorrow evening to pack as well i also am like 
I'm getting very emotional about the move, honestly. Like, I'm obviously really, really excited. You guys saw how excited I was <laughs> when we toured the apartment. Um, but I'm just getting a little sad about leaving this apartment. And, like, it's just kind of an, the end of an era, you know? Start of a much better era, I sure hope. But, yeah, I'm definitely just a little bit sad. I love this part of town so much, and I'm really gonna miss living here. We actually drove past the apartment tonight just to kind of get a feel for that little specific neighborhood at night and just to kind of see if it was loud at all and it was so quiet. So I really feel like we just lucked out. St. Louis, if you know, you know, it is very block by block. One block could be really nice and I kid you guys not, the next block over could be extremely sketchy. So I just feel like we did get super super lucky with the little neighborhood that we're gonna be in and you know we're only gonna be 10 minutes away from this place so it's not a big deal and i'm gonna be closer to my mom and one of my best friends i'm just definitely starting to get like a little like oh we're moving i can't let my brain be sad because this is the best move i've mentioned it so many times that this is the most help we've ever gotten and people are just being so supportive and so kind and so helpful so and we're moving into a bigger space y'all like a bigger and arguably cuter space cuter in the sense that it's vintage i love all the vintage touches on the apartment so it's not like we're downgrading apartments at all like it's a big upgrade so i have absolutely no reason to be sad or bummed out at all i just like i don't know i don't know how to explain like put into words how I'm feeling. The closer Sunday gets, I'm gonna start getting progressively more excited. I think I'm just still kind of stressed out and is like, this is real? Is this actually real? Anyways, I'm just really rambling at this point. I'm tired and I'm gonna start packing just a little bit. Bruh. Okay, good, you can see it on camera. Look at all the nails from around people. <laughs> it looks bizarre to me. <laughs> Good morning friends so i did a lot of packing last night actually i want to show you guys my progress because i really only filmed time lapses this is our main pile of boxes a lot of these are full but i do have a couple of empty ones up here and then some that are only like half full so that's the situation here i also have this extra box um but the main thing that i did last night was i cleared all of this out the only drawers that still have something is just one of the camera drawers i think that's the only one yeah i'm pretty sure that's the only one because some of chris's camera stuff i really want to make sure he's transporting safely i didn't want to just like throw it in a box you know but this is fully emptied out which feels so good i'm not going to empty that out because it's really light to carry and then a lot of the stuff in here as you can see is already in bins or boxes so i'm not super worried about that but it took one two three four five boxes to clear this thing out and to clear a little bit of stuff off of this shelf too but that was like my biggest stress was packing that stuff up so what i still need to do is the kitchen <laughs> not a single bit of anything has been packed because we use our kitchen every day obviously so i'm probably gonna pack the kitchen like the night before we move i guess i don't really know i'm nervous i've like i said last night i have so many feelings coming up about moving i'm mostly nervous about moving the plants the plants is gonna be probably the hardest thing to move because i have like 30 of them and if any of them get messed up or if they die, I'm gonna be upset. So, I just the thought of transporting them is like overwhelming. Actually, I just saw this box and I had an idea. For my smaller plants, I have this extra lid to a box. I think I might use this and put a whole bunch of small plants in that, but there's a lot of plants that are gonna have to be carried individually, so that's gonna be fun. I also think I need more boxes than I realized because I got all these boxes and last night I was like, oh, I don't need any more boxes. I have more boxes than I know. No, I need more fucking boxes, unfortunately. My biggest things that I 
do not want other people moving are my plants and my records because if anything happens to them I'm gonna lose my shit and I just don't want to like put that onto somebody else like if one of my records breaks in someone's car I would rather it just be my fault than someone else's fault so there's some things that I'm very particular like I don't want other people moving so I'm gonna have to really get my shit together and organizing and figuring out like what can people move but really the only thing that we need like actual help with is just moving furniture and bigger heavier things if need be me and chris could move every one of these boxes by ourselves but at the same time since we're gonna have help i might as well utilize that help as much as i can and have people load boxes and shit in their cars i've been trying to like journal and write down plans for myself i'm just very overwhelmed i also decided too that we need to do all of our laundry before i hand the keys over because we're not gonna have a washer and dryer immediately at the new place we have hookups in the basement but yeah i don't have like i don't have a washer and dryer yet so um just thinking of like little shit like that you know some of the stuff like like the skateboard like how do i put that in a box some of this is just gonna have to be flat out carried i don't know i'm stressed y'all the the stress of moving has officially hit me but you know it's gonna be fine it is gonna be fine another day doing instacart this is so heavy i've delivered to these apartments before and it's a bitch to get in the building but i made it in <laughs> this is crazy okay 27th floor scary i don't remember the last time we talked but I just wanted to kind of check in, say hello. I'm sitting down to do my mornal, mornal. <laughs> oh my gosh, morning journaling. <laughs> I'm trying my best to come up with a good moving plan. I feel like we've already talked about this probably, but, oh, I need to call. So my new apartment is doing this really awesome thing where they're doing a complimentary service where I just, talk to a lady and she's gonna transfer all of our utilities and all that kind of stuff over for us so I'm not gonna have to as long as I can get a hold of her I'm not gonna have to individually call all my different like services to change my address so that's gonna be nice I have an appointment at the salon at five Chris is at work all day so I have most of today to bum around and pack I've definitely made some good progress let me show you those are all the boxes and then we also, where's my hand? We also have all of those in the entryway too. So don't get me wrong, it's not like I've like done nothing. It's just like I said, when I look around, I'm like, I have so much to do. My bestie brought me a couple more boxes and I'm definitely gonna pack anything that I can think of to pack. I still need to get a lot of stuff off the walls too. I just also don't really have a whole lot of places to set that kind of stuff. So I'm not super worried about taking it down. I figure I'll just take it down and move it. But I've gotten all of our little canvases and art and all that kind of stuff off the walls, so there's at least that. Um, but I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do my loads. We might be able to move in a day or at least move like 80 to 90 percent of our stuff in a day. Whenever I go to get the keys, I'm going to go to my mom's and we're going to pack all the furniture that I'm taking from her. She's gonna stay at the new apartment and clean, which is gonna be amazing. I'm so thankful that she's willing to do that because we have enough muscle and hands to help physically move. The one thing I was worried about was, you know, I wanted to at very least just sweep and mop the floors and I'm like, how am I gonna fit that into my day when I just wanna take the day to move? And I'm hoping I'll be able to take her SUV, we'll have our car that Chris will drive back and then we'll have my friend Monica and her mom's SUV, and then my friend Kaylee in her hatchback. So we'll have minimum four cars to be packing stuff into. That's how we're gonna do that. I just don't know like what order I wanna actually move stuff in. Like we have a whole bunch of bins and random shit to go down in storage, and part of me is like, I wanna move that first so that we can just put it straight in the basement and then have the upstairs ready to go, but some people are telling me I should move like valuable stuff first to just get it over with. We also have to think about when we're gonna move the kitties. 
because that's going to be a whole thing. I did get some suggestions in my last video, so I appreciate all of you who mentioned anything about the cats. We have moved with the kitties before, or at least with Kitty Man. I have a good plan. Um, I'm just going to put all of, like, the majority of the stuff in our apartment is going in the bedroom. So I'm just going to close them off in there and let them get familiar with the bedroom. And that way they're also closed off while we're moving so they can't get out. We're officially two days and like 15, 14 hours, something like that. I, did, I have a countdown on my Instagram right now. But we're like just basically like two and a half days away from moving, which is crazy. I'm so excited. The stress is setting in, but the excitement is also finally starting to set in. So I can't wait. Probably gonna do some time lapses of me packing and organizing stuff. <laughs> I gotta wrap this vlog up at some point because I want the next vlog to be us physically moving and probably I'm gonna include me coming back here and cleaning this old apartment, getting it ready so that we can hopefully, sorry for the washer, so that we can hopefully get our security deposit back and have it super clean and good to go for Kaylee. And then the vlog after that is probably gonna be a lot of unpacking and decorating. So that's what y'all got to look forward to. Make sure you're subscribed if you want sneak peeks or a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit more detail of what's going on. Make sure you become a patron. I might only have one video this month, if that, so please bear with me. But Mar as soon as March comes, I'm gonna be back on my grind on there, but I'm still uploading very consistently. I'm just not uploading videos on there just because this month has been absolutely insane. If you want to see more real-time updates, just follow me on Instagram. I be posted on my stories constantly. I'm kind of annoying over there, honestly. So yeah, make sure you're following me on there. Other than that, I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.